So my name is Wendy Figures and I am an open water swimmer. I've been open water swimming for about five years. I've always been a swimmer but always been a pool swimmer. These fellas who I met in lane swimming who invited me to the lake um, and I went thinking I'd hate it and after one session I was absolutely hooked and that, that was it, I was an open water swimmer from then. I decided I wanted to enter um, a bigger swim and I entered the BLDSA events which is the British Long Distance Swimming Association. The biggest swim I've ever done is two-way Windermere which was a night swim um, and the nicest swim I've ever done. I thought night swimming would be hard but it was just beautiful, very tranquil and that took me 12 hours. Then I, I started cold water swimming about three seasons ago so I've just done my third season of cold water swimming. My and my friend's intention was just to carry on swimming after we'd had a lovely summer and we had absolutely no intentions of taking on any of the winter challenges. We didn't even know anything about the winter events. We just wanted to carry on swimming. It's a different sort of feeling where we just, you get that nice buzz when you get out of the cold water. If you don't stay in too long, you get a buzz and, and you feel great for the rest of the day. And I found that actually I was quite good at it because um, well, I'm probably too stubborn to stop and I just kept, kept trying it. Um, and somebody talked to us about an eye smile. An eye smile is um, one mile swimming in one swimming costume, one hat, pair of goggles, no wetsuit allowed. And the water has to be colder than five degrees. It's run by an organisation called the International Ice Swimming Association and it's quite a new challenge. So when I go out ready to do the Ice Smile, I don't really talk to many people. I'm quite focused. I'll stand in the edge and just get my feet wet, wet first. Stand there for a couple of seconds and then very slowly wade in. Um, and then I'll do a little bit of breaststroke with my head up and I, I like to take my time before I start swimming and that for me is the important bit because I want to control my breathing and get myself nice and calm and once I'm nice and calm that's when I'm ready to touch the boy and set off. For me breathing is the key and controlling your breathing is the key. Most ice swimmers have got a ritual where they'll lay their clothes out bef before so that they're e easy to get to, the, so that the support team know which, which bits of clothing you want to be put on first and, and I have that after drop. It takes me a while where they will have to get me out, help me get dressed anyway, but it's like I'm there but I'm not there. I'm, I'm off with the fairies for a while and it takes me a while to be back in the room. Even before, if you think you're going to have the best swim ever, you still need a really, really good safety team. And, and I am very, very fortunate that I'm in a club who are very organised with the ice swimming and I've got a support team who are very knowledgeable and know exactly how to look after me. I've got shakes. I'm shaking away, but um, I'm, I'm feeling all right. I, um, I felt quite comfortable on my swim. I've done eight eye smiles now, and, and my challenge is to get to ten, and then I think I will, I will stop and focus on other types of ice swimming. So my channel swimming is, is this summer and my uh, window is the 2nd to the 5th of August. There's no wet, so it, it's one costume, one hat. I'm allowed a support swimmer, but they're only allowed in for one hour at a time. My support swimmer is a guy called Theo, who's been training quite hard so that he can uh, be able to swim with me. And I, I knew I needed to get the miles done. I went in the pool and just started getting the big distances done in the pool to get my speed back, to get my pace back. My distance goes up by 5k a week, so March 
um, roughly 35k a week, April I'm trying to do a 40k a week and so on until I get to the end of June. I've got some big challenges along the way, I'm going to Ireland again at, at the end of May to do some big swims, I've got a 24 hour swim to do in June, so they're all sort of targets along the way that'll help me get my distance so I can get the miles done and then come July I'll start slowing down, tapering it off a bit ready for my swim in August. This will be my biggest challenge and I hate sea swimming but it, it's the Everest of all swims, it's the most famous one um, and I, I just want to be able to do it. It's, it's not an easy swim, if it were easy everybody would do it so I know I've got to get the work done to be able to, to, be able to cover that distance. Yorkshire Outdoor Swimmers um, based at Hartill Reservoir and they're such a brilliant bunch of people. All outdoor swimmers are fantastic. If you're not from outdoor swimming or if you meet somebody who's not an outdoor swimmer, the, the first question they usually ask, especially about the cold water swimming is, are oh, you mad? Because other people think we're a bit crackers but we're all a like-minded bunch of people and we all know what, what we like to do, what our goals are, so everybody's very supportive of each other. When people come along for the first time, everybody recognises how difficult it might be for them to, to have the guts to come along and join a new group and get in that cold water, but everybody's really encouraging and really supportive. I do get um, people who are writing articles about co-watch women ringing me up, asking me questions um, and I do get a lot of people, a lot of swimmers asking advice which is always great. I have always been very competitive, I do like winning. So as a child when I used to race in the pool that's what it was all about um, and now you know even at 51 year old I like winning, I like to race, That that's what it's all about. I would recommend open water swimming. Just being able to get cl so close to the wildlife is beautiful. You always feel much better when you got out of that cold water. There's plenty of challenges to be done and when I read up about them I just want to do them all.